Have you ever thought about how entire galaxies die? When the cold gas from which new stars are formed ceases to flow from intergalactic space, most galaxies cease to exist. However, some of them don't die completely but are transformed into a so-called stellar stream. These are an association of stars that rotate in a continuous vortex around the center of other galaxies. In the Milky Way, about two dozen such star groupings were found. Now, imagine how something with the mass of a million suns punches a giant hole in one of these streams, dragging along a few dozen stars. Sounds pretty scary. But the worst thing is that such an event has already happened on the outskirts of the Milky Way. What is this mysterious object and what threatens us with this giant hole in our galaxy? Sit back, stock up on popcorn and soda. Right now, the level of awesomeness on your screen will rise to unprecedented heights. In the spring of 2019, Anna Bonaca, a researcher at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, observed one of the star streams. She expected to see a continuous line of luminous points, but how surprised she was when right in the middle of the GD1 stellar flow, the telescope revealed a gigantic gap. The incredible huge hole had jagged edges, as if space been pierced by a fantastically large bullet. The size of the object that violated the integrity of our universe is frightening. Indeed, according to astronomers, it was a million times heavier than the Sun. Anna Bonaca could not keep silent about such a shocking discovery. So on April 15, 2019, she presented her observations at a conference of the American Physical Society in Denver. From this point on, the debate continues among the scientific community. The best minds of mankind are trying to find the answer to the question, what exactly could punch such an incredibly huge hole in our universe? The first option that came to mind is a giant, monstrously huge star with a tremendously large mass. Perhaps it just went astray and flew through the side of the galaxy. According to Anna, this theory could be viable if not for the huge size of the gap itself. A star that is able to pierce such a frighteningly large hole should have an absolutely unbelievable diameter. And scientists have never observed stars of this scale. Indeed, it should also have enormous gravity. According to astrophysicists, this incredible something broke into GD1 and then dragged many more large and small stars behind it in its wake. Therefore, for researchers, this assumption didn't make sense. Of all the objects known to scientists, only black holes have a similar mass. This explanation seemed more plausible to the researchers. The only problem was that usually, in the center of galaxies, there's only one big black hole, and we already have one. On the other hand, there's still so much we don't know about the universe. Perhaps the gap in the GD1 stellar stream is evidence of an anomaly, and Banaka, with her colleagues, discovered a second massive black hole in our galaxy. Astrophysicists don't deny that this is possible, but Anna Banaka disputes this theory. The fact is that around a black hole, there's a cloud emitting flashes and very powerful radiation. The scientists who observe the stellar stream of the GD1 should have detected this. But Banaka and her colleagues did not find any signs of radiation near the gap. Moreover, in April 2019, astrophysicists first took a picture of black holes which had nothing in common with what Bonaka saw in GD1. This means that a supermassive black hole being the cause here is out of the question. Perhaps this hole was formed after the invasion of a giant unknown object from outside the universe. 
Such an assumption seems too crazy to be true. But Anna Banaka put forward an even more insane theory. In her opinion, this object is a huge clot of dark matter. For many years, scientists have unsuccessfully tried to find evidence of its existence. And if the theory that it was dark matter which violated the integrity of GD1 is confirmed, it will be one of the most significant scientific discoveries over the past decade. However, the problem is that we still don't understand exactly what dark matter is. The only thing the scientists agree on is the fact that the part of the universe visible to us, including all the planets, stars, and galaxies, is no more than 5% of its total mass. Everything else consists of dark matter and dark energy. Dark energy is a kind of anti-gravity. Thanks to dark energy, according to scientists, our universe keeps expanding. Unfortunately, there's no direct confirmation of this hypothesis. After all, dark energy can't be seen. Besides its hypothetical influence on the size of the universe, it leaves no trace behind, unlike dark matter, which gave people more reason to believe in its existence. According to one theory, dark matter consists of exotic particles. They're invisible to light, so scientists can't detect them. The only argument in support of the existence of dark matter is its influence on stars. According to Newton's law, due to weak gravity, objects at the edge of a galaxy should move much slower than at its center. But in observation, the speed of stars on the outskirts of galaxies is much faster. Scientists suggest that the reason for this is just dark matter, or more precisely, it's gravity. It helps distant stars move faster than central ones without breaking the laws of physics. It's this powerful gravity that could cause a break in the GD1 stream. Of course, that's if dark matter exists at all. After all, some scientists consider it no more than fiction. Physicist Yuri Smirnov from the University of Southern Denmark found another explanation for the high velocity of stars on the outskirts of galaxies. The researchers suggested that every dense and compact object, including the black hole in the center of our galaxy, has an invisible sphere or bubble around it. Inside this bubble, all the stars and planets interact with the central object according to the classic law of aggression. However, those objects that are outside this invisible sphere are exposed to a stronger gravitational effect of the central object. To understand more clearly how this works, imagine two weights with the same mass, one immersed in water and the other just getting ready to fall into the water. The falling weight will move much faster, although it's farther from the bottom. That's why the stars on the outskirts of the galaxy are moving with greater speed than in the center and dark matter has absolutely nothing to do with it. Unless, of course, you believe the Danish physicists. They do not want to be without evidence, so in the near future, they're going to test their theory. These scientists plan to aim a beam of light at one of the galaxies. If their assumptions are correct, the beam will not pass through the galaxy but will break due to the surrounding bubble. In this case, the theory of dark matter would finally be refuted. But for a giant hole on the outskirts of our galaxy, then there simply must be no other explanation left. The riddles and secrets surrounding this mystery will only increase even more. Nevertheless, Anna Banaka and her colleagues are inclined to believe that the gap discovered is still a clot of dark matter although we have no direct evidence of this theory yet. Just as we see no evidence to the contrary so far. And the most important question, what kind of threat is this to our galaxy, remains open.
What do you think about this? Does dark matter exist? And what is this mysterious object with a mass of a million suns? Share your opinion in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to click on the bell to receive notifications about new videos. And be sure to recommend us to your friends. It's much more interesting discussing these topics together.